In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own charity stream using Tiltify. I'm doing my own charity stream this month where I raise money for St. Jude. If you want to support that, you can do that with the link underneath in the description. Or you can join one of my streams on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm going to show you how to do this as a Twitch streamer. This is the Tiltify website and what we're going to do is we're going to sign in. And we're going to say I'm a fundraiser or a donor. And then here we can say what we want to log in with. I'm just going to log in with my Twitch. The reason why I choose to log in with my Twitch is because then my Twitch is immediately connected. There's a little tutorial right here, which I'm going to dismiss. And this is your dashboard. Here it says how much I raised, how many campaigns I did, and how much I raised per campaign. It will say some past campaigns and stuff like that. And it says my current campaign. I'm a little bit in front of it, but it says the St. Jude 1 for 2024. This is the one I'm going to raise money for this month. Here's a button that says create new campaign. Okay, I already have this one, but I'm just going to make one just for this tutorial. Now, here we can search. And then, for example, St. Jude Play Life 2024. I'm going to select that. I'm just going to do individual. If you're joining as a team, you can do the team based. Then you can give it a name. Um, so I'm going to just call it test right now, just because then I know this is a test campaign. But you can call it something that makes sense for your campaign. And you can make a description right here. All right, continue. You can set an image, you can set a YouTube video, you can set a live stream. So you can say like, oh, you can find it here on Twitch. You can also make a video promoting it right here, which for example, could be this video, right? But you can make your own telling people about like why you would want people to donate for St. Jude or any other organization you are willing to do a charity stream for. All right, then I'm going to continue. Here will say, how much do you want to raise? What's your goal? The minimum goal is hundred bucks, but you can, you can, you can put a million here if you want. <laughs> a million. Not that you're going to raise. I mean, I will be impressed if you raise a million, but. <laughs> so let's just do a million just for the funsies. It's a test campaign, right? And then I'm going to click on continue. Now here I have this blocked a little bit because this is where you add your address. The reason why you add your address in here is because if they want to send you some promotional products like a t-shirt or a package to help you with your charity streams, they will do that at this address. For example, St. Jude will send you a shirt if you raise 400 bucks or they will send you a package with some supplies for your charity streams if you will join next year as well. Here you can put your phone number in, your date of birth and your shirt size. Basically this is you know, a unisex, my shirt size is medium. Basically just telling them like, hey, if you're gonna send me a shirt, this is what you need, right? I just put some random things in here just so let me go through. And here it will say like, this is your campaign. This is where people can find your campaign. And here you can click on create and publish or you can click on create. This way you're just creating it and don't really publish the campaign. Now we're in the campaign dashboard. I'm gonna actually switch to my actual campaign so we can set some things up. So we're going to go to the St. Jude's Play Live 2024 one. So what we can do is we can set it up. So this is the setup here. We can change the name. We can change the goal. We can change the description. We can, we can change basically everything that we set up before. If you click on media here, you can connect your channel for me. It says Twitch. I'm kind of in front of it. Let me remove myself. <laughs> so it says Twitch right here. Campaign. So here we can set the campaign name, the campaign goal, the avatar, everything that we could set up before. And then in media, we can connect our channels. Then here we can set our schedule. We can add a schedule item and I'm just going to fill in when I'm going to be streaming. Camera is a little bit annoying in front of it, but. <laughs> so I'm going to say charity, charity stream. And it's going to begin on, let's see, the 3rd of May. And it's going to be at 9.30 p.m. That's my time zone, Central European time. And it will end at uh, May the 4th at like 1 a.m. And I'm going to save the changes. Now we will see this will actually come in here. Apparently I already set that up. Oops, now I have to. <laughs> so let's delete one of them. And we have information right here, which is the cause and everything, which, is, which basically tells me a little bit more about St. Jude. We also have incentives here. And these are milestones. So for example, if you reach hundred bucks, I will wear a cow onesie. I've yet to set up some other ones, <laughs> uh, but we can just do that by add to my zone, writing something in here like test, 
and then putting an amount here, like 50 bucks, and then saving it. And it will be in here. If you want to activate it, make sure to activate it right here as well. Otherwise, it won't activate. If you're like, huh, the tree just cut. Yeah, I did, because I I was going to cast a Mage of Ape, Age of Empires, and I didn't know exactly how late that would be. And apparently that was right now, so I just had to stop my recording real quick. And uh, so if you think like, hey, her hair is different or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like... An, like one and a half hours later now. We did a time skip. <laughs> I was talking about rewards, guys. Uh, so what I've said here, let me get my camera going again because I'm sitting in front of things the whole time. It's really annoying, but... <laughs> so we have the googly eyes and for like $5 donation, I'll be putting googly eyes on my face. I'm probably gonna need to set the quality of this because um, I'm gonna run out of googly eyes at some point. I mean, I have a lot of them, but like at some points we're gonna run out. So it's probably good to set like a limit, like even if it's like a hundred or something like that. Uh, I've added spin the wheel, lemon juice, so people can buy sh like for 50 bucks, I will drink a shot of lemon juice, literally just a squeezed lemon, right? Um, I'm gonna buy this like soon because yeah, I don't want them to go bad. <laughs> Um, and there's some incentives here that St. Jude already put in. Well, if you want to make a new one, we're going to click on Add Reward. And here we're going to set the name. So this is just the name, like what I had, lemon juice and stuff like that. You can set that here. Uh, so let's just call this test again. And then we can say how much they need to donate to get this. So let's just get a, a dollar. And then we can describe, uh, this is just a test. <laughs> but you can say like, oh, we're going to spin the wheel or anything like that. If you keep the quantity empty, it will be unlimited. But we can, for example, say there's only 10 of these. And if they run out, you can't do it anymore. You can also say there's only one maximum per set per, per donation or four. So if somebody donates like five bucks, they can get five of these. But we can also say they can only maximum get one of these. Oh, not minus one. one. <laughs> I scrolled, that happened. And then we start this, for example, we want to start it in May. So I'll say May until the end of May, because that's how long I will be running this campaign for. And then we can upload images we want, uh, or we can keep this empty if you don't want that. And if you require shipping, so for example, if you would send something like a card or if you would send some film merch or anything else, for, I would do that if it's like a very expensive thing, not like do it for a dollar. But, you know, if you want to send something, you need to make sure to add the shipping because then you know where to send it, right? So this is just going to add like a your name and address and stuff like that. You can also have a custom question, so like email. Um, and then they can fill in their email address. For example, if you're going to send them something digitally instead. Now, I'm going to just save this. And now we can see that the test is in here. There's only 10 of them. It is created by the campaign. These are created by the cause, which is St. Jude, right? These are created by me, the campaign. And we can activate it by clicking on this. And now it's activated. And now people can do this, this testing for a dollar. All right. So the next thing we have is polls. If you click on polls, we can create a poll. And again, I'm sitting in front of it. <laughs> we can name this like, um, I don't know, pineapple pizza. Pizza. I can't type. Pineapple pizza. Um, yes or no. <laughs> it's just a simple one right now. I'm going to save this. Now what people can do is they can raise money. Again, activate it if you want it to be activated. They can raise money towards the yes or the no. So they can say, I do agree with pineapple on pizza, yes. Or I don't agree with pineapple on pizza, no. And then you basically can have this fight in your community using the donate system. We also have targets right here. And we can create a new target. And we can say the target is going to be 100 bucks. Tree wears... Banana outfit. So if we hit this this target before, for example, before Saturday, then we're going to do this. So this is going to be like a little goal in our goal. So it's not a milestone because the milestones are going to be for the whole campaign. But we can have a target so we can hit something before the end of the goal. So if we can hit it the first stream or before like the first week is done. On the left, we have donations. This is where you can see who donated and how much they donated. And you can also see the information here that they had to fill in. Like you asked for the email address. Messages. These are people that want to send you a message to Tiltify. Dig digital fitness right here. You can set up your fitness equipment to be able to do some cycling, dancing, running and stuff like that. 
uh, with your campaign goal. So you can set a campaign goal of the distance, steps, and times here. And you can connect that to your Strava, your Fitbit, or your Garmin. We can also go to overlays and we can create an overlay. And basically what we can do is we can create this overlay with this bar and we can see how much it was raised. And you can also have these QR codes in here, which people can just scan with their phone and easily join the campaign right now. So you can test it out right now. You can scan this code and you'll basically see my campaign. It would be nice if you donate some for the cost, but you can also just look to, <laughs> you know, see how it looks like for yourself, how, how scanning the QR code would work for this campaign. Now here, this is also the place where we can edit all this. So we can click on this and we can change the background color. We can change this progress color. We can change the text font color. We can change the progress. I mean, we don't see progress right now, but it will be blue. Um, we can basically change any of this. We can change the position. We can change the font itself. Same for the QR code. We can change the position, but we can also drag it around. And the alert box. It's also automatically in here, which gives an alert for when somebody donates. So you can see the position of it, but also the font. Here's the sound effect. Uh, we'll have no sound, but we can have a applause or anything like that. You could also set this up with your stream elements or your stream labs by connecting your Tiltify campaign to it. So you do not need to use this alert box if you're already using something else, but, but this is an easy way to do it natively in Tiltify. And then we also have the event list, which is up here right now. And we can have, that's basically who has donated what. You can individually remove any of these components by clicking on delete widgets. Now this widget is gone. If you want them back, we can just add the widgets in. We can add anything in here. So this, these are all the things that you can choose from that you can add in here. You can just add them to your overlay. We can copy the overlay URL like that, copy. If we're here in OBS, what we can do is we can just Add a source, add a browser source, add the URL in here, and then just make this 1080p, then 80p by 1920, and control the audio via your OBS, and then click on OK. And then we should get all these things in. Oh, I made it the other way around. I'm a silly billy, guys. It's uh, 1920 by 1080. <laughs> And uh, then you will get these things. If it doesn't load, we can always go to properties, refresh the cache of the current page. And I make sure that you save this. And now we can see that this actually appeared in the OBS. Here's, you know, this is the overlay now and it will just work directly with Tiltify. Another thing we can do is we can go to roles right here and then we can add some administrator functions. So we can add somebody, one of your moderators and they can actually help you with this campaign. If you go back to overview here, we're going to be able to see our dashboard where we can see which donations came in and stuff like that. We can see our goal here, how much we raised for it, but we can also see the total goal from the event. So this event, we're trying to raise 2 million for St. Jude and we can see this, this much has been raised so far. We can also see the, the more about the donations here and we can also do some more live settings, multi overlay. So control all of your overlays from one browser source, select an overlay below to make your active overlay. So this is basically the overlay we already did, the basic layout, right? And we can connect our media right here. So as we can see, add media, live stream, video, images, and suggested things. So we can do some St. Jude things itself, but we can add our own media in here. I'm just having my Twitch in here. If you want to get your campaign link, we're going to go to overview and then we have copy campaign URL and copy donate URL. So I'm going to copy the campaign URL and this is how the campaign URL looks right now. We've connected our Twitch. So it's right here. We see that poll that we made here that people can donate for. Um, apparently I wrote or instead of no, whoops. <laughs> here we see a progress, a donation button. And here, this is the campaign description. We can see when our next live stream is going to be right here. But if we're going to copy the donate URL, it's going to look like this. We do not see that page. We do not see how far we are. But what we see is we can donate right here and we can already choose yes or or instead of no <laughs> for the pizza goal. And we can, or you can just skip these and go to check how and we can just donate. You can honestly donate. You can leave a comment if you want. You can actually set up how much you want to donate here in the payment details. 10 bucks, 25 bucks. 
100 bucks, 500 bucks, or we can click on other to donate whatever we want. The minimum is a dollar though. So people can donate under a dollar. And it's probably because it's going to cost a lot for the payment to be going through. So the minimum is going to be a dollar. So they actually make money instead of like lose money from the payment. <laughs> You basically have transaction costs, right? So what I do myself is I make a timer on my bot. So stream elements, stream labs, nightbot, whatever you use in your Twitch chat, announcing that people, hey, we're doing a charity streams uh, with this QR code. It's also easy for people to get to the donation page, but I would also recommend having a donation command, exclamation mark donate or exclamation mark charity, and actually putting that command name in your title to make it easier for people to find the donate link. You can also leave the link in your panels with a little image or just replace your own donate link with the donate link for charity to make it easy for people to find it. This way they have like four possibilities basically to find the link. Chat via your title, via your panels and actually via the QR codes. Make it easy for people to donate because then people are more likely to donate to the charity. If you guys have any more questions about charity streams, let me know down below in the comments. I do have a video right here where I explain incentives and stuff like that from live streaming. I also have a video right here for setting up a charity event via Twitch itself because they also have their own system. It works a little bit different. I prefer Tiltify myself, but if you wanted to do it via Twitch itself, that would be the way. Uh, subscribe right here and watch this video because YouTube thinks you like it.